Whispering Community. This is my first whispering video. I thought I might want to try this because I find whispering videos super relaxing. It's large, I had the 
there's not there's not much I dislike but I'm sure you can always find something you don't like uh, what is one of your favorite quotes well that's that has to be um, Dr. Kelso from the TV series Scrubs that anything in this life worth having does not come easy you have to anything you want anything you want to have you have to fight to get it if it's worth having you have to fight for it I like that quote um, what's your favorite indoor outdoor activity my favorite indoor activity is actually gaming my favorite outdoor activity is helping my dad taking care of the animals I live on a farm by the way uh, taking care of animals uh, helping digging or chopping wood uh, something very practical doing work um, what chore do you absolutely hate doing um, vacuum cleaning probably <laughs> because we have a, we have a short hair dog we have a great day French or every other place in Europe that doesn't speak English for that matter I think um, but she drops a lot of hair everywhere and we have to vacuum clean after every single day it's so annoying um, what's your favorite form of exercise well that would probably any form of uh, martial arts What is your favorite time of day, day of the week, a month of the year? My favorite time is in the evening or in the night because when everyone's asleep, I can get to do whatever I want to do without getting disturbed. When I go for a movie marathon, a gaming marathon, excuse me, I don't want to be disturbed. I hate that. I just want to be left to what I do. And when I'm finished, people can talk to me again. I know that sounds a bit, yeah, a loser, but whatever. I like what I do. <laughs> uh, what your least favorite mode of transportation, uh, form of transportation, I think that you have said. form of public transportation in the country I live is just sucks especially in my part of the country so yeah public transportation in general trains buses whatever uh, what's your favorite body part um, my stomach even though it's not very well <laughs> trained right now but I'm working on it what sound sound of a guitar if you could throw any kind of body what would it be like and what would it be for any kind of party um, I actually just like it. it would be a party almost like bar crafting I played a lot of Starcraft and I loved I even I went to one Barcraft event where everyone brought their laptop and competed against each other in StarCraft 2 and uh, drank beer and talked about StarCraft and watched StarCraft on a big screen.
because those are simply just beautiful. I've been there once and I was just amazed how everything you looked at or wherever you were looking, there was just a river or a waterfall or a, or a part of the sea just carved into the country or a giant lake with a blue lake mirror as a surface. It was just ice glaciers up there so yeah no way definitely if you could stay a certain age forever what would it be um, 21 definitely because since I'm a white male and uh, you and is older than 21 well you can do anything you want <laughs> in the Western world so
tubes everywhere, so I'm going to be sure sure about it. Um, if you were immortal for a day, what would you do? Uh, I would probably go avert bomb disasters. Just pick up a bomb. That's a good one. Um, I'm not sure. Um, well, that one I don't know, simply. Uh, I would like to know the answer to that question, just to create a paradox for you. to the question if you if you could know the qu 
answer to any question, what would it be? I would like to know the answer to that one. Uh, if you could be any fictional character, who would character character who would you choose?
just in love with my person, no, not person, girlfriend, my girlfriend at the time, and everything was just great. Uh, I don't remember much, f much from that evening other than I was a happy guy, um, and I forgot about school and everything for a bit. So that was one of the best. What was the last movie, TV show? cry or tear up um actually oh which one was it i'm trying to think of the title um dang it i can't remember um i remember season six or seven maybe where Monica tries to propose to Chandler and Chandler has to propose to her and they say all these lovely things about each other and I must admit I do cry really easily uh, I get moved really easily so I've also cried to a series like Scrubs and also TV series called The Unit, uh, where a soldier gets killed, and yeah, and they, oh, yeah, they may just make the most beautiful and respectful uh, burial ceremony that you could give a soldier. So that made me tear up a bit too. Oh, not a bit. I cried. <laughs> um, what's the hardest thing you? Asking out my current girlfriend, I think. It took me four days to get the courage just to ask her for a date. So, yeah, that was the thing. Um, what was the last experience that made you a stronger person? Uh, getting through depression, I think going to go into details but yeah getting through my depression actually helped me get a lot stronger uh, what did you do growing up that got you into trouble um, everything I think everything uh, yeah pretty much the last time you had an amazing meal um, I went out with my in-laws and my girlfriend and yeah we had some great dinner at their family's restaurant called the brewery so yeah that was a great meal it's about a month ago I think was the best worst gift you have ever given received um best gift ever given i don't know i don't remember really and i well my, the best gift i have ever received was and is still to this date my white gibson guitar studio let's pull Sorry about that. Um, yeah, my list ball. Uh, definitely. What do I miss most about being a kid? Uh, not much, really. To be honest, I'm still a kid up my head. I play around and I just goof around. Not minding that you're naked in front of your family, maybe. I don't know if that's a thing I miss. Uh, yeah. I don't know. That just popped into my head. I didn't know what you, why you had to know that. But 
what is your first memory of being really excited? Um, when I got my first radio control car, it was a radio control uh, miniature monster monster truck, and it still works to this date. I love just driving around with it. Um, what was the third, the first thing you bought with your own money? Um, it was a ragdoll ostrich that could walk really funny. When was the last time you were nervous? Uh, when I had to get up on stage in front of my entire school. song in front of 800 people. What is something you learned in the last week? Uh, that finding a job when the world is in an economic and financial crisis is a pain in the ass. Uh, what story does your family always tell about? I don't know, because I'm not present when they do. That's how my family works. When you have to say something good about someone, you can't just say it when they're in the room because you're, uh, you're gonna tear up or it's gonna get awkward. <laughs> We're not that good with it. <laughs> Complimenting each other. Um, and yeah, last, at what age did you I never did. I'm still a child. So. Yeah. That's a long video. <laughs> <laughs>